Hey, what's up everybody? This is a guest Cleese Stamus from Gearworks.com, the E2KG Network podcasting channel on YouTube and the Rounding Off Infinity Gaming channel on YouTube, as well as the Rounding Off Infinity Gaming page on Facebook. Here this morning with a quick config minute for streamers. Uh, and I'm going to talk a little bit this morning about doing game captures as well as doing streams. We talk a lot about uh, streaming and the technology involved and the different configurations, uh, but... Uh, I also do some game captures, and some of the community does. Twitch actually now, I think, believe believe secure, uh, blah, supports um, posting a pre-recorded content. And uh, the config that I'm using this morning supports exactly that. I'm going to start trying to cut more videos like this, trying to do uh, short format and quick uh, talk-throughs, tech talk-throughs, tech walk-throughs of my different streaming and uh, game capture setups. Um what I've been really bad about in the past is, uh, is, is it takes a long time to get it set up, and I try and do a lot of elaborate, elaborate like dual camera things. Um, so I'm messing around with the Zoom Q8 camera this morning and a tripod, and seeing if I can quickly traverse the tripod and just use one camera to talk through this. Um, and so hopefully you will not be too bothered by. Uh, I just rearranged the studio last week. Uh, in some cases, I cleaned and broke down some of the workstations. Uh, I did not <laughs> do that with my console workstation, so I'm trying to clear some of the dust off now. Um, so this morning, uh, I'm going to be doing a game capture, and I've got a homework assignment to do for the Enough to Keep Going uh, weekly gaming podcast that we do on the E2KG network, specifically uh, Osiris Prime, one of the co-hosts, one of my co-hosts, uh, asked us over the last two weeks to take a look at some games that we picked up during this release year, but then kind of bounced off of and didn't get back to. Uh, one game uh, that falls into that category for me is Far Cry 5, so I'm going to be revisiting that. I wanted to do a game capture of my play sessions, uh, going through it and hitting it again, but I didn't want to live stream it, and I already have my PS4 OG hooked up to live stream. So uh, I decided I'm going to play Far Cry 5 on my PlayStation 4 Pro, and I wanted to do a game capture, so I quickly scripted a different configuration to use for that. Uh, and what I'm using this morning is the AGP Tech VG0020. Uh, it is a standalone game capture card, and I'm going to traverse the camera over and let you get a look at it, and we're going to talk through this setup. And hopefully this goes okay. And actually, I... Th Worry that it's not. <laughs> okay. So sorry, you got to deal with some camera noise. I'm gonna figure out, learn a way to start doing videos like this quicker uh, and easier. So the VG0020 is a standalone game capture card. Uh, AGP Tech. I don't think they're actually even a real company. I think they're just a. Uh, retailer, seller, vendor, and they, they bring in lots of pieces of equipment from China and just rebrand them as their own, So, and that be their name brand there. Uh, like I said, the, uh, the VG0020 HD video capture is a standalone video capture card. I keep about three of these in my arsenal total, um, three, maybe four, in order to play around uh, with doing game captures in a standalone mode. Now, Doing game captures uh, in, connected to a PC are great because you can shape the content in OBS. Um, but there's also this neat thing of doing a quick and dirty. Uh, these are particularly good cards, I think, for people who are in the press and media who do uh, media days and, uh, and get to go down and play game demos if they're allowed to capture video. Uh, I went um, a few years ago to the now, unfortunately... Uh, uh, closed Boss Key Studios down in North Carolina and had a chance to play Lawbreakers uh, in an alpha build. Um, and there were lots of people with cards like this, not with this specific card. So the VG0020 does capture in 1080p at 30 frames per second. Uh, it has a connection for power back here. Uh, the power brick is run down below uh, into an ups. Uh, by the way, I would say if you do use any type of equipment for uh, streaming or game captures, not a bad idea to have it on an uh, uninterruptible power supply. Um, really, all your gear should be on <laughs> ups, um, or at least critical components of it. Uh, there's uh, HDMI in and out here, so I just have the PlayStation 4 Pro plugged in to over HDMI to the HDMI in, and then I'm running this out to the TV. Now, of course, with the PlayStation 4, for new streamers, you want to make absolutely certain that you have disabled HDCP before you hook all of this up. 
Uh, if you have not, and admittedly I don't know that I have on my PlayStation 4 Pro, um, I may have to disconnect these cables, route the PS4 Pro back directly into the TV, um, and then uh, disable HDCP and then run this connection again. A couple of things that are particular to the AGP Tech VG0020, uh, it records out to um, to any type of uh, USB connectable storage device. Uh, in this case, I use an 8 gigabyte, 8 gigabyte uh, thumb drive. Um, that thumb drive has to be formatted in FAT32, so what that's going to constrain you to is the maximum file size is going to be about 2 gigabytes, which... Uh, with my games, generally gives me anywhere from 17 minutes to 22 minutes of recording time. Um, then it's going to break and roll to a new file. Um, and if you're just, you know, talking and talking and talking and talking, uh, if you're not timing it, uh, you won't catch that. Now, you can do different things. You can knit those files back together or whatever. I, I have found that for the purposes of posting this to my YouTube channel, it really doesn't matter that much. Um, if I remember, I'll do a second intro. And a uh, neat little tip and trick uh, for keeping time uh, while doing game captures and or live streams. Um, if you don't have something that, that will keep a time display, like your smartphone, a lot of times I'll use my smartphone or a tablet for that. Uh, but another thing you can do is I will tell uh, my Amazon Echo or my Google Home to uh, set a, you know, whatever minute timer so that I hear an alarm go off. Uh, but, so that's that. Uh, the thing that's really neat about the VG0020 is also it has 3.5 millimeter leads up front, which I really like. Uh, it has an input for a microphone line in and for a headphone out. So you don't have to monkey and dork around with uh, what it takes to get uh, audio out into a pair of headphones, uh, particularly with the PlayStation 4. Now, if I wanted to, I could just uh, run these as a single lead, right? because this headset that I'm using comes with that. And I could plug this into a, my PlayStation 4 controller, and then I could use a different cable with a 35 millimeter out uh, that splits those out into discrete to run them into the, uh, into the HD capture, HD video capture. Uh, and I think that would pick up my voice chat. I'll, I'll have to think about that another day. Uh, I didn't think about that before I started recording this video. So... Uh, that's the hookup for the VG0020. It runs under its own power. Uh, you start the recording just by hitting this little button here, and away you go. Uh, I am using my Razer VG, uh, sorry, my Razer Kraken Pro uh, V2s with it. Um, the only thing is, is to get the audio mix balance right now, you have to do everything uh, me mechanically and direct. So, with what I mean by that is. With the Razer Kraken Pro V2s, in order to set the um, mic output right, uh, the mic well, the mic output's going to be what it is, right? Because this volume control actually just works for the uh, da -da 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 -da, just works for the headphones. So you you don't have any control over the volume. To control the in-game volume, I would have to scale the volume down actually on the PlayStation. Uh, so, which is, which is fine and okay, and generally, the audio mix balance on this comes out pretty decent without having to monkey with it a whole ton. Uh, if it really bugged you, you could record standalone to a separate device and then mix them after the fact in post. Um, but again, a large part of the reason for this device is to be able to uh, use it without having to do a lot of editing afterwards. What I really try and do with this device is uh, record videos very quickly and then just yank them off the thumb drive and, uh, and go post them up on YouTube. Uh, to test my audio mix balance, generally what I will do um, is you're going to stop the recording, you're going to wait a little while for this light. You, normally when you're recording, it'll be flashing rapidly. You're going to wait for the light on your thumb drive or your storage device to go back to this kind of steady flashing uh, state. Then you can yank it out without, you know, you don't have to power the unit down or anything. You can just, it, it's hot swappable. So you can pull it out, take it to a PC, and quickly check it. So... That's going to do it for me for this morning for this walkthrough of the AGP Tech VG0020 and my hookup for uh, game capturing on the PlayStation 4 Pro. If you have any questions, just uh, let me know. That's going to do it for me. Once again, my name has been Agassically Stamos from GearWorks.com and the E2KG Network podcasting channel on YouTube, the Rounding Off Infinity gaming channel on YouTube, and the Rounding Off Infinity page on Facebook. Thanks so much for joining in. I'm out.